Hey YouTube, what's happening? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. Today's tip is really important. I'm going to teach you how you can save five years of mortgage payments without it costing you even a penny more. So what am I talking about? How can you prepay your mortgage without it costing you any more money? Well, let's just take a look at the numbers. There's 52 weeks in a year. There's 12 months in a year. Most of us pay monthly mortgage payments of 12 let's say $1,000. So we make a $1,000 payment. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. But if you were to pay $500 every two weeks, it's the same $1,000 a month, but you would now be making 26 payments because there's 26 two-week periods to get to 52 weeks in a year. So in essence, what you've done is you've made a 13th monthly mortgage payment as opposed to 12. Your cash flow shouldn't really change very much, but the effect is massive because you can cut down five years of a 30-year mortgage by just paying every two weeks. Now, before we do that, let's just go through some of the background here. One, make sure that you don't have a prepayment penalty clause in your mortgage. Check with your bank, check with your mortgage note, see if there's any prepayment restrictions. Two, check with your bank that they're going to know what to do with this extra payment and make sure that they apply it to the principal. The reason you need it applied to your principal is that mortgage interest is calculated on a monthly basis based on the amount of principal that's outstanding. If you're reducing the principal that's outstanding, the amount that you've borrowed, because you're now doing this you know, bi-weekly payment, the amount of interest that's due changes and it gets reduced. And that's a huge amount, just like saving for 10, 20, or 30 years in, say, the stock market compounding effect works for you. Now, by reducing your principal, your interest expense is getting reduced, and so the compounding effect is working for you. So again, make sure no prepayment penalty. Two, make sure your bank allows biweekly payments. Three, make sure when they accept the biweekly payment, they know that the additional payment is going towards principal. And if you get all that, and you can afford to do this, or change your automatic payments or the bank debit payments automatically, then it's a no-brainer. Now, again, I started off by saying that this isn't a prescription and it may not fit everyone. At record low interest rates that we have right now, if you have a mortgage that's at 3% or even 3.5% or 4%, you can't borrow at those rates. So it may not make sense for you to have more home equity. You might prefer to have more disposable income to, say, grow your business or invest in something else. And that's a very personal decision. I just want to point that out. Most people, I think, are very um, conservative and would rather have less risk. And they associate less risk with less mortgage paid, like less mortgage owed. And so this is a great way to get higher amounts of principal and equity in your home, reducing five years of payments at 60 payments that you would knock off. And if that appeals to you, then go for it. And for those of you that are interested in doing this, but like the bank doesn't allow the bi-weekly payments, there's whole services that um, handle these payments, the, they're providers. I don't personally recommend them. I've never worked with them. They charge an upfront fee and then a, a maintenance fee and then there's a contract. And so like, I wouldn't do that. A hack around that might be to figure out what the extra payment would be. So $1,000 again in the example is your monthly mortgage payment, divide 1,000 by 12, whatever that amount is, like 80 something dollars, add that to each of 12 payments and you get basically the exact same effect since mortgage interest is calculated on a monthly basis. There's always a way around, you just have to be creative and thoughtful and figure it out, work with your bank so that they are helpful and they're not causing any problems or headaches for you down the road, but this is a great way to save more money in your home if that's your key objective. I hope you found this video helpful. Please go ahead and leave comments below like who's doing this and how do you do it and what did you have to tell the bank? Let's grow with uh, each other's insights because I'm just one guy and I have one data point but I have thousands of viewers. Thank you very much. Uh, share with us and in the meantime please go ahead and like the video and subscribe.